Joyce Travel B. Born in December 26, 1926 at Louisiana, United States. In 1956, Travel B earned her Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree from Louisiana State University. Travel B defines health into two categories, the subjective and the objective. Subjective health is an individually defined state of well-being in accord with self-appraisal of physical, emotional, spiritual status. Subjective health involves the evaluation of one's overall health status, while objective health is an absence of discernible disease, disability of defect as measured by physical examination, laboratory tests, and assessment by spiritual director or psychological counselor. Nursing Nursing is an interpersonal process whereby the professional nurse practitioner assists an individual, family, or community to prevent or cope with experience or illness and suffering, and if necessary to find meaning in these experiences. Environment she defined human conditions and life experiences encountered by all men as sufferings, hope, pain, and illness. She defined illness as being unhealthy, but rather explored the human experience of illness. She defined suffering as a feeling of displeasure which ranges from simple transitory mental, physical, or spiritual discomfort to extreme anguish and to those places beyond. She defined anguish as the malignant pace of despairful, not caring, and apathetic indifference. She defined pain as not observable, a unique experience. Pain is a lonely experience that is difficult to communicate fully to another individual. She defined hope as the desire to gain an end or accomplish a goal combined with some degree of expectation that what is desired or sought is attainable. She also defined hopelessness as being devoid of hope. Person A person is defined as a human being. Both the nurse and the patient are human beings. A human being is a unique, irreplaceable individual who is in continuous process of becoming, evolving, and changing. According to the model, nursing is accomplished through relationship between humans beginning with an original encounter and then progressing through stages of emerging identities, developing feelings of empathy, sympathy, and at the final stage as a rapport. Interactional Phases of Human-to-Human -human Relationship Model Original Encounter First impression by the nurse and of the sick person and vice versa. Stereotype or traditional roles. The task is to break the band of categorization in order to perceive the human being in the patient and vice versa. Patients are the same human beings as us and families, only that they need other human beings, specifically nurses and doctors, for maintaining health. In the second phase, which is the emerging identities, it includes separating oneself and one's experiences from others and recognizing the differing qualities that each possess. Transcending roles by separating self and experiences from one another and not using oneself to judge others. The nurse nor the patient is not to stereotype the other as having a particular vexatious characteristic as this is not facilitative to building a relationship. The tasks include in avoiding using oneself as a yardstick by which to evaluate others. Barriers to such tasks may be due to role envy, lack of interest in others, inability to transcend the self, or refusal to initiate emotional investment. This phase is described by the nurse and patient perceiving each other as unique individuals. At this time, the link of relationship begins to form. Pace of empathy. This pace involves sharing another psychological state but standing apart and not sharing feelings. It is characterized by the ability to predict the behavior of another. Phase of sympathy. It is all about sharing 
feeling and experiencing what others are feeling and experiencing is accomplished. This phase demonstrate emotional involvement and discredits objectivity as dehumanizing. Task of the nurse is to translate sympathy into helpful nursing actions. Sympathy happens when the nurse wants to lessen the cause of the patient's suffering. It goes beyond empathy. When one sympathizes, one is involved but not incapacitated by the involvement. The nurse should use a disciplined intellectual approach together with therapeutic use of self to make helpful nursing act. Rapport. Rapport is described as nursing interventions that lessen the patient's suffering. The nurse and the sick person are relating as human being to human being. The sick